Hi, this is Craig Daniels. Welcome to Craig's Classroom. Today's subject is Google Maps, and I was going to take you through some of the things uh, through one of my favorite applications of Google is the Maps application. And I know you probably been lots of time in Google Maps looking up different things, but I wanted to show you today how you can use Google Maps to customize maps that you can use within your websites and your blog pages. And by doing some customizations, you can embed them. So let's, let me take you on an idea uh, tour of some of the things I had in mind here. For instance, if you wanted to put a boundary around something, maybe it's a school district or a community area. Uh, in fact, today's lesson, I'm going to take a golf course. I'll show you how to put a boundary around something, and then you can embed that into your web page. So for instance, here's the case that I'm going to show you how to do something like this. You can draw the boundary and then embed it. Another thing that you can do uh, in Google Maps Hopefully, uh, you're going to learn that uh, throughout the lesson, some of the different things about that, how you can use that today. And that's place marks. You can put place marks on maps. So, uh, for instance, if you wanted to highlight certain points within or near your community, for instance, if I was highlighting movie theater locations, here's a couple of examples. This is, I'm using Staten Island as my example because that's where I live. So these are some movie theaters, but I created a custom map with place marks. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then finally, I'm going to take you into how do you embed these into your blog posts. So I'm going to create a sample a post, uh, show you how you take an embed code and put it into your blog. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started and uh, get into our demonstration. So I'm going to switch over to my browser window. And I'm on the Google Maps page. You can see that in the upper right-hand corner, um, if I highlight this point up here, I'm logged in as myself. Now, in order to save anything within the Google world, you're going to have to have a Google ID. It's free. It's easy to get. If I'm logged out here, if I'm signed out on any of the Google pages, it could be the main Google search page. It could be the Google Maps page, like you see here. There's a sign-in button, right? Very easy. If you hadn't already created a Google account, you just say down here at the uh, below the sign-in area, I want to create an account, and it's a very simple process. Just put in your email address, choose a password, some basic information about you. Very simple, one page entry into the Google world. And there's there's a ton of things that you can do within Google, and the Maps is just one thing. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in as, as myself here. So you want to make sure that if you don't have a Google free account, that you do that. Now I'm going to I'm signed in now to the Google world. I'm going to go back to Maps.Google.com. <clears throat> and once you're signed into Google Maps, you're going to see it on the title bar just below the logo here, it says My Maps. And this is these are maps, these are customized maps that you've saved uh, throughout the time that you've worked in Google Maps. You see I've, I've done quite a few different customized maps here. <clears throat> now let's take the case of, let's, I want to create a uh, new map, and I'll do the place marks example, let's say movie theaters. So I'm going to start off my new custom map. I've already done, you can see I've been working on this. I've got movie theaters, movie theaters too. I'm going to just go ahead and do a search here for movie theaters near Staten Island. This is going to get me zoomed in, and it's also going to highlight with the markers where the, where the movie theaters are. And now by using my mouse, I can roll in and zoom. That's the way I like to zoom. And you'll be able to see here that these push pins here on the map, if I click on that A marker there, that's a, that's a movie theater, and down at the bottom of that pop-up, do you see where it says Save to Map? And this is where you can save it to one of your custom maps. If I pull that down, it says Saves to My Maps, Which one? And then it says which map do you want to save to? And if I pull this list down, these are all the maps I've already been starting to work on, or at the very bottom of that list, I can create a new map. All right, so I just created a new map, and there on the left-hand pane, you can see that it's one item inside this new customized map. Uh, the title of the map is the same as the first entry into the map, so I can go ahead and click on Edit button, and I can change my title here, and I would change it to something like Staten Island movie theaters. Now 
I already had a test sample one and two, so they'll call this one number three. But normally you're just going to drop that number. You wouldn't use that number on the end. You can put a description in here. Uh, the options as far as sharing public is good because that's the whole point of all this is that you want people to see it. I'll go ahead and, and save that. So that's locked in. And if I was done editing all together, I could hit done. Now let's go back to my search again. I'm going to add a second entry. So I'll go back to my, let's do movie theaters near Staten Island. And I'm going to go and zoom in on my point marked B. And the marker changes as I zoom in here. But I, okay, so let's pick on this marker here. Again, I'm looking to pop up. I can save it to a map. And again, it says which one do you want to save to. And you can pick the map that you want to save it to. And so I'm just going to save that pin to my, my new custom map. So at the top of the map here, it says it was saved. I can go ahead and click on the View Map option. And now this, this particular map, if I zoom out a little bit, is going to have see my two custom pins here. So, so now I could keep on adding pins. That's going to keep building my list over on the left. In fact, if I can show you a couple more things about this before we move on, let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay, and I'm going to switch my view into a satellite view so I can actually see what's going on here at this location. And you can see there's, there's the movie theater. Uh, over on the left-hand side, I want to highlight this, that if you wanted to edit this map in any, in any way, if you want to change the titles of the, the pins or even to move the pins around, you have to be in editing mode. And once I'm in editing mode, then I can work on this in different ways. Um, says okay so I could I can change the the pin marker if I don't want to use that default one I can I can pick a different kind of icon if the pin needs to be readjusted just slightly I can drag it see the, the highlight at the, the pop-up says drag and move if you want to move it so I could I can move that a little bit more precise if I want to do that and then when I'm done I just want to make sure all my changes are, are locked in so I'm gonna hit I would hit save if I'm gonna continue editing but if you hit done, it's going to save it and close it out of the editing mode. Right? So those are some different things then with place markers, some things that you can do.